Love this goal. Going right through the D. That's a sizzle play, my friend. That sound and smell is making delicious goal. I'm glad you're enjoying that. <laughs> Oh, what a oh. show. Welcome back to more Sports Den. We have delicious goal makers on the show <laughs> now from Bengals Hockey, both uh, boys and girls teams. We have veterans of the show. All five have been on the show a uh, combined like 20 times. So congratulations on that. Welcome back to the show. We have Bryce Brzezinski, Will Hillman, Jalo O'Brien, Ramsey Parent, and Gabby Rosenthal. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Were you counting us in the 20? <laughs> Yeah, because we've if been on the all show been on three times. That's fifteen. Don't all right. Don't worry about it. What did I tell you? Sorry, about? I didn't. Not doing math on the show. <laughs> I didn't mean to bring up math. <laughs> all right. Sorry. But uh, last year I showed clips from Eat Sleep Hockey, which was a documentary done like a decade ago that had our Gabby Hughes on there when she was little Gabby, and we had uh, little Bryce on the show too. Let's what show it again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we? Not showing it this time, but uh, what I forgot to do last year was finally get this autographed. So I've had this <laughs> oh for a long time. It was on my office door for a long time. So you're finally going to have to autograph this. What? Do you recognize <laughs> which one you are? You better look at that. Oh, that's a good looking kid <laughs> right there. <laughs> right? There you go. So Bryce is going to autograph this. How old are you there? No idea. <laughs> Okay, bros. So that's 2010. Bros. 10 years old. So 10 year old <laughs> Bryce here. So here's Bryce. So we've got the shot. Now. There it is. Nice. <laughs> Not so, much has changed. So thanks, Bryce. <laughs> yeah, nice. That was good. All right. I can go back on the office wall. All right. On with the show. So, Bryce, uh, you're the youngest of four. Yeah. Uh, junior this year. Do you feel any added pressure with the name Brzezinski on the back of the jersey or uh, do the positives outweigh the negatives just having that support of your hockey family? Um, there's a lot of pressure but there's also some positives with it. Um, you know the pressure being that I look to to be good at hockey but um, you know the positives are having like a pathway of where I'm going and what I'm doing having them gone through that. Luckily, you are good at hockey, and you've got teammates who are also good at <laughs> hockey, like your, your buddy Will over here. Uh, Will, how long have you been playing with, uh, with Bryce here? I'd say about five years now. All right, uh, tell us what uh, your experience is like. You guys have been playing varsity together the last couple of years. You know, we just try to have our most fun. We always laugh it on the ice, having fun, and we try never take things too serious and try to get the job done. Who has the better goal celebrations? For sure, Bryce. Yeah, for sure, oh, wow. Bryce. We definitely have our competitions during practice. Yeah, so that's a thing, apparently. Oh, yeah. Is everyone practices at practice what they're going to celebrate. That's what it's there for. It's what successful people practice because they know they're going to score. Right. We don't have any type of celebratory. No, we're not saying such It seemed like the, the best way for you guys to score, and this should probably be obvious and true for most teams, is the power play. But for this squad, it's extremely, in fact, I think both sides, I would even say, the power play was excellent this year. Uh, for you gentlemen, uh, what made it click so well this season? Um, definitely the chemistry that we had. Um, our defensemen, bros, who uh, ran the top of our power play, uh, played with us last year too. So, um, And me and Will being in the same spots we were last year definitely helped. Okay. All right, so you guys are juniors. How's the team looking for next year? I think we're looking really strong. I think we're only losing about four or five guys. and. I think we should come back with a lot of experience next year from the young guys, and it should be really good. All right, so you guys are both juniors. You're coming back, but uh, college plans, you're going to St. Cloud State. Yep. And uh, you've obviously got some brothers that went there, Johnny and Easton. Easton's still there? Yep. Okay. Easton's a freshman this year. He's a freshman because he, he played? Yeah, he played okay, juniors. Okay, gotcha. So are you going to be able to play with your brother? Uh, yes, I think so. I think he'll be a junior when I first get there. Okay. So there's no juniors plans for you? Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing yeah, yet, yeah. but we'll Guess see. Got some time to figure it yeah. out. Yeah, when it happens, it happens. Will, you already looking? I'm um, undecided right now. Hopefully, yeah. some roll in the got door. Some time. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <clears throat> and uh, we'll welcome in the ladies here. Uh, we've had you on the show uh, with uh, uh, four of your teammates last year. A lot of girls here yeah. last yeah. year. <laughs> the state championship. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, 
Welcome back to the show. You guys had a successful year. Obviously, your goals were to get back to the state tournament, but uh, um, one of your rivals had something to say about that. They kind of had their year. What was? Tell us about uh, the rivalry you guys had with Centennial, friendly, bitter, otherwise, Jayla. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, it's always good competition. We play Centennial. It's always a close game. I mean, we both really want to beat each other, but I don't know. It's always just a good game to come. A lot of people come. Like, if you look in the stands, there's always, like, extra people, not even just, like, families or supporters. It's just, like, people. And I don't know. We know it's going to be tough this year because they had a good team this year, a lot of returners for them, where we had a lot of big, like, spots to fill from all the seniors that graduated last year. In a perfect world, we would have had you in separate sections, both going to state. <laughs> but for TV purposes, uh, the section final was uh, set up for, for a lot of drama, and, and uh, we love the Centennial Blaine matchup. Um, Ramsey, tell us uh, about the, uh, the playoffs were dramatic all the way through, starting with uh, the quarterfinal. Tell us what the Anoka game was like. You guys probably didn't expect to go to overtime against them. Yeah, that was really unexpected. Um, we thought it was going to be a little easier road than it was. Um, a lot of our new players had to kind of understand what it was like to really get back to the section championship and ultimately try to get back to state like we had the year before. But we knew everyone in sections, it's like a whole new season, and everyone's going to bring their best, so we had to too. And unfortunately, Centennial ended up on top this year. All right. And uh, Gabby, tell us about the section playoffs, starting with the quarterfinal where uh, Ramsey, I don't know if well, you, you get credit for the assist. I don't know if you intended to pass to Gabby, <laughs> but <laughs> the defender I'll help you out there. Way. Yeah, the puck found its way to Gabby. Tell us what that moment was like uh, netting that goal in overtime. Um, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> um, obviously, being a senior, I didn't want my season to end going into overtime, which I don't know. Anything can happen in section, so we didn't want to like downplay the game. But yeah, it was crazy. Scoring was obviously a really good feeling. Just keep on going. So. And then one of your rivals, Maple Grove, you guys were able to dispatch of them in the semifinals. Yeah, that was a really good game. We split with them during the season, and so we knew it was going to be a really good game. They're obviously a really good team, so we ended up winning, so that was nice. But. So, Ramsey, how long have you been playing together with Gabby and on the same line for varsity? Um, well, we've been on the same line since her first year at Blaine when she came over for U14, so five years now, six, yeah, five, something like six, that. Seven. And is it your sister, Peyton? Is it is, it? yeah. Yeah, so she joined the team this year? Mm, she so was a freshman this year. Yeah, and she was a forward, right, but they moved her to defense yeah, this year? Yeah, she's kind of been on and off. She played boys' choice league, and she played D kind of there because she was bigger than all the boys at that age. <laughs> and um, it was really awesome to have her on the team, for, especially with all of our seniors last year, and um, able to get her the experience she needed at defense with a lot of strong forwards still up front. All right, and uh, Jayla, uh, you played tennis in the fall? Yeah. Any <laughs> with Gabby. With yeah, Gabby, Gabby, yeah, Gabby came first out. Year. How was your first year <laughs> of tennis? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was really fun. I mean, really new experience. I've never played before, but it was and really And Jayla fun. helped you out, right? She was yeah. really good. She, she was on <laughs> first year. No, <laughs> first she's year, really good. Never <laughs> played tennis. She's good at everything. And you'll be playing lacrosse together in this next season. Okay. I don't play lacrosse. I play lacrosse. Oh, just, just me. Yeah, that's uh, that's yeah. a Gabby thing. Yeah. And Abby Jones, that's the other Abby one. Jones. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's also good at lacrosse. Lax. Yep. <laughs> so your plans for college, is it Hamlin? Yeah. Are you going to be uh, hopefully playing between the pipes for them? Um, hopefully. They had a good season this year. Very they got good. third. Third place. So yeah. Hopefully I can come in there and get them to first. Maybe. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite memory playing with uh, the team? Um, probably just all the people, not really like the game or anything, just like all the friendships and like memories that you made throughout the seasons. Just getting to play with like my best friends all the time. It's something I'll miss, but sure I'll make new friends. <laughs> Ramsey Jr.? Yep. So you're coming back, you're going to be missing a lot of friends. I but am, what, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does the future look like for Bengals uh, Um Well, hockey? next year we have me and one returning defenseman. We'll be the only two seniors, um, so we lose a lot, but it was nice to Ha not have to fill too many holes this year so like we got a bunch of underclassmen experience there so we're not gonna have to have too many new faces next year excellent all right and we'll look more on the lacrosse field for you yeah. you're not pitch. you're not <laughs> the pitch <laughs> nobody calls it that does anyone pitch. call it that no no uh, <laughs> did, so did okay. they not let you have one of these shirts is that what happened yeah, well, I was supposed to wear that shirt, and then <laughs> I didn't. There's just so many shirts. Yeah. There is. Yeah, they're matching. I like that. Yeah. 
So you guys coordinated. You played You're against right. uh, Gabby Hughes when, when you guys were little, right? Yeah, like so, TVs. Yeah, so who would win a game of puck now if you guys played? Probably her. Probably her. <laughs> yeah. She's good. For sure. But She's got like 200 more career points than me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. All right, well, thank you guys for coming on the show once again. Uh, fun time as always. We appreciate it. And uh, now we're going to go to more top plays. More. The next five.